everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and today we've got something delicious. The folks at Symphonio sent me their 10 in one multi cooker to give a try. So I thought what a perfect opportunity for me to share with you this recipe for ranchero beans. Making it in the pressure cooker is super easy and super quick. No soaking, no boiling, no fuss, no muss. I can't wait to share with you how this all comes together. Today we're going to be making some ranchero beans or what some of you might know as frijoles charros which are Mexican charro beans and we're going to be making them in the pressure cooker. I, I had another company contact me and ask me if I would uh, demonstrate their pressure cooker in a recipe video and since this seems to be a running theme on our channel. I went ahead and I said absolutely. Uh, you can never have too many options and every single one of these machines is a little bit different. And this is the Symphonio multi-cooker. It's a pressure cooker, a slow cooker, a steamer, a rice cooker. You can make yogurt in it. And there are a couple of things that it came with that I was really impressed right out of the box with it. So I'm happy to share this with you today. It's really easy to use and I love it because it has this digital LCD readout. Um, and it has all sorts of different options, presets. It also has an option for you just to pick pressure cooking and then you can tell it how, um, how long to, uh, to cook for. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on our ranchero beans. What we're going to be using, I have one pound of pinto beans. These are dry beans. We're going to be doing the no soak method. When you make beans in the pressure cooker, it literally takes 35 minutes and you're going to have some delicious beans. You can make them with no flavorings, just with water and it's going to be great. But today we're going to be making Mexican style beans and they're going to be awesome. We're also going to be flavoring this up with about eight slices of bacon that I have just cut into pieces. We're going to be using the saute function on the pressure cooker in order to cook this off and render it down a bit. We're going to be adding a variety of fresh vegetables, uh, aromatics to be specific. I have two medium sized onions that I have diced. I have a uh, two jalapeno peppers that I have seeded and diced. I have two poblano peppers that I have seeded and diced. Neither one of these are very spicy at all. These poblano peppers are like a sweet bell pepper. And I have one red bell pepper that I have seeded and diced. I have six cloves of minced garlic. We're going to be adding a tablespoon each of ground cumin and dried oregano. We will add salt after it's done cooking because you never want to add salt to your pot when you are cooking beans. Otherwise you run the risk of them coming out tough. We're also going to be adding a large 28 ounce can of tomatoes and green chilies. If you prefer, you can use fire roasted tomatoes or just diced tomatoes, but this is the equivalent of approximately a quart and that's pretty much it. If you like to add cilantro to your beans, that would be something you would add with the salt at the end. Um, we are not huge on cilantro, so I'm going to leave it out because I'm probably going to be freezing some leftovers and cilantro tends to bloom the longer it sits like black pepper. Have you ever added something, uh, added black pepper to a dish and then later come back and eaten it and all you can taste is that overwhelming flavor of black pepper? Well, that's the same with cilantro. It releases its oils as it cools and when you put it in the freezer and then thaw it back out and reheat it, it just goes crazy and you get an overwhelming flavor. So if you are on the side of, I like cilantro a little bit, but not a whole lot. You might want to leave it out and just add fresh cilantro to each serving as you eat it. When you get ready to saute, you just want to turn the knob until you reach the saute option. And then you want to push the knob in and then you want to just tell it if you want to adjust it to whatever amount of time, we're not going to need to saute this for 20 minutes or even 15 minutes, but I'll set it for 15 minutes, push the button, and then you can see it says it's preheating. And I already threw my bacon in there, but that's all right because it's bacon. So it's just gonna, we're gonna render it out and then we'll be back when it's time to add our vegetables and move on to making our ranchero beans. 
I wanted to go over the Symfonio uh, multi-cooker with you guys just briefly. I want to thank them for sending this to us so that we could use it and share it with you. I also want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. This one has a chime when you open it and close it. And um, it has, you know, just like all the others, it has the, um, the ceiling and the venting, venting option and the, the lid is very easy to take on and off. It comes already inserted with one gasket, but it also comes with a spare gasket, which I love, you guys know, I love it when they come with a spare gasket because that means you don't have to worry about having an extra. It already came with the machine. You don't have to worry about purchasing an extra. Of course, it comes with the rice measuring cup, the rice paddle, and a little bit of a ladle, this just a little plastic ladle. This also has a stainless steel insert uh, vessel and it comes with this awesome steamer basket. This will make cooking hard boiled eggs so easy or steaming vegetables. Like I said, this is a multi cooker. You do not have to pressure cook in this. You can simply set it on whatever your um, cooking method is that is desired and it will do what you tell it to. So this is really awesome if you want to steam some broccoli or some zucchini or any kind of vegetable. You could most likely fit a whole head of cauliflower in here and steam it in about seven minutes and then it's going to be raised up. It has little legs on the bottom as you can see here and that's going to help you because we always want to make sure that we put a rack in the bottom especially if we're putting eggs in here. If you're interested in learning more, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box. You can go on over to Amazon and check it out. They are very affordable and they have, um, they have a good warranty. You will have to register your machine once you receive it on their website. If you turn, if you turn the knob, you can see it has options for poultry, soup and these all have presets of time and pressure as well. You can adjust the pressure and you can adjust the time also. So you can do bean and chili which is the setting we're going to be using today for our ranchero beans, porridge or oatmeal um, or you know whole grain cereal if you want hot cereal. Um, cake that would be a setting if you're going to make a cheesecake in a pressure cooker. There's an egg setting, a slow cooker setting, a rice setting, a pressure cooker setting, just if, you, if you're if you cooking something that's not on this list and you don't really know where to go, that's going to help you. The saute setting is going to help us right now. Um, we're going to get ready to saute some bacon and a steam setting for when you want to steam some veggies. Also, it has a yogurt setting. This also came with these awesome little silicone grippers so that when you get ready to finish and you want to take your pot out, you just can put these on and, and, and grab it and this you're going to not burn your fingers. Our bacon has rendered. And a little fun fact for you guys if you didn't already know this. When your bacon is cooking and you see it start to get foamy like it is here in the bottom of the vessel, that means that it's rendered all of its fat and it's just gonna continue to kind of crisp up in there. So this bacon is ready for us to move forward. We're not really looking to crisp this up because it's gonna get soggy anyway, cooking in there with the beans and all what have you. So I'm gonna go ahead and add up all my vegetables in here. So our poblanos and our onions, our red bell pepper, our jalapenos, which I kind of just tossed on the top of that pile and give this all a good toss. We're not looking to completely saute this. I'm really just interested in getting it coated in the bacon fat. Oh, that smells so good already. I'm going to add the garlic in and give it a toss. Our pot is still on the saute setting and I'll have Rick come down here and show you. When it comes to temperature, it's going to tell you it's hot and it's cooking. And there's a little thermometer gauge here at the top. I don't know if you can see it, but but it's just telling you that it's ready to saute. And if you let these veggies sit in here for a little while, they're going to start to sizzle and they're going to start to cook down. But we're not going for that right now. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add my beans in. And I'm going to add 
my tomatoes in green chilies. There are some helpful lines on the side here. It gives you the halfway mark down here, uh, right here, and then the two thirds mark. So you don't want to fill it, it says PC max two thirds. And then over on this side, it tells you cooking max is up to here. So, which is about three quarters. That's if you're slow cooking. I have heated some water in my electric kettle and this is only to speed up the process. For a pound of beans, you're gonna need between six and eight cups of hot water. Now, we've got all of our ingredients in the pot. Sometimes it's helpful to move your vent to, to vent before, as you're trying to close it, then move it over to seal. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the cancel button so that we can get it off the saute setting. And I'm going to move this over to the bean setting. And I'm going to do this for 35 minutes on high. I'm gonna press that again. It's gonna start preheating and bringing up to pressure. And then it's gonna cook. And when it's time to open it up and show you our ranchero beans, I'll be back so we can share them. Okay, our beans have come down off of pressure and what it will do is once it beeps that the cooking, the pressure cooking time has completed, it will beep and let you know that and then it will start counting up. So it's been 22 minutes since the pressure cooking process was finished and I did go ahead and release the pressure and I vented the remaining pressure that was inside and it just took a couple of seconds so we can open it up it's going to sing to you and this is another one that has little notches in both handle sides you can see here um, and the lid has uh, a little tab on both sides to where you can just use that to hold your lid after it's done cooking and these look fabulous they smell amazing the beans are perfectly done and we're gonna go ahead and serve some up for you I mean look at that isn't that gorgeous now charl beans can be served as a nice side they can be served uh, as a meal with some tortillas on the side um, like I said earlier you could add some shredded cheese to this you could eat it like bean soup, and it's all the way, it's, it's up to you. So I'm gonna add salt into the pot, and then I'll salt this serving that I just took out. Again, this is all to taste. We did not season these other than the oregano and the cumin, so you can regulate that according to your dietary needs or your preference. These look amazing, and I think we need to taste them. You ready, babe? I have to. Mm. That's really good. Yes? Oh, you like that? Perfect. I wanted to share with you some delicious food made in the Symphonio pressure cooker, multi-cooker, it's a 10-in-1 multi-cooker. If you are interested in more information or getting yourself one of these, if you've been on the fence uh, about getting a pressure cooker, maybe you're just kind of weighing your options, you've seen me use a lot of different models here on, on the channel then I will leave a link down below where you can check out their Amazon page. I'm also gonna leave a QR code here on the screen. You can use your QR reader and it will take you to their website where every month they're gonna be giving away one of these pressure cookers as well as recipes and other different things that they're gonna be offering to you for free and just a, you know, a fun thing for them to do. I also did wanna mention that this comes with a cook booklet as well as an information booklet on how to operate, clean, and maintain your new pressure cooker. The um, the vessel, the gasket, and all of the little accoutrement that came with it are dishwasher safe. However, the lid should not be cleaned in the dishwasher. You should wash that with uh, mild soap in warm water and then you should uh, dry it. You should not keep put that in the dishwasher at all because it could affect the inner workings of the pressure lid. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about ranchero beans or frijoles terraros. Um, I hope that if you are interested in this Symphonio pressure cooker, you will go and have a look at the link and uh, tell them I sent you. So 
Thank you to Symphonio for sponsoring today's video and for providing this lovely pressure cooker for us to use today. You will most likely see it be used in some future episodes as well. If you liked today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're new to my kitchen and you wandered on over to see what was going on, welcome. Always a pleasure to have new friends join me. Please be sure and hit the subscribe button. If you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please be sure and hit the bell notification button so you will get a push notification on your smart device or an email in your inbox every time we upload a new video because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope hope you enjoyed this recipe for ranchero beans and I hope you give it a try sometime soon and I hope you love it and until next time I'll see ya.